Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Tuesday, April 30th. The weekly lesson is Worshiping God. The scripture we'll be referencing is Psalm 34, 1 through 3. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will boast in the Lord. The humble will hear and be glad. Proclaim the Lord's greatness with me. Let us exalt his name together. I will boast in the Lord. The praise and blessing the psalmist gives is not limited to some religious side of his being alone. His worship comes from his whole being, all that he is. He described his praise as boasting in the Lord. Craigie and Tate note that to boast in itself an unpleasant human characteristic by virtue of its self-centeredness is here transformed by the object of the boasting external to self. Hence, boasting in the Lord creates not aversion toward the boaster among those who are near. It directs them to toward rejoicing as they hear the praise of another. Therefore, the humble will hear and be glad. The psalmist moves from personal praise to an invitation for corporate participation. Proclaim the Lord's greatness with me. Let us exalt his name together. To exalt or raise up praise to the Lord is a way of raising awareness of his greatness and a personal testimony of his majesty and glory by those who have experienced him. His name is a way of calling attention to all that God that makes God who he is as Lord. It denotes honor, authority, characteristics, reputation, and glory. With me, let us, and together, emphasize the corporate nature of the worship the psalmist desired to see take place. We can worship the Lord alone, but we experience a great movement of His Spirit when we join together with others in worship, adoration, praise, and exaltation. What are a few lasting lessons that come from Psalm 34, 1-3? Giving blessing, praise, exaltation, and lifting up the name of the Lord is to be an ongoing practice and unending desire of everyone who is in a right relationship with Him. Of all the good things in our lives about which we may boast and be pleased, nothing is better or greater than what we have because of God's graciousness to us. And how wonderful it is to gather with brothers and sisters in the Lord and raise our voices in worship and praise to Him. Until tomorrow, saints, and remember, every day is Sunday.